Hey kids, I'm so excited to be sharing the story with you today. It's kind of an interesting one. We're going to be talking about scorpions and snakes, bread and eggs, asking, knocking. Do you know what story we're going to be talking about? If not, you're going to find out all about it today. If you want to follow along, you can do that in Luke 11, verse 5 to 13. Okay, are you ready to hear the story? Great, let's go. Suppose you have a friend who comes to you at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A traveler has come after a long journey and needs some food, but I have nothing to give him. And suppose the man inside answers, The lights are off. The door is locked. Me and my children are asleep. I cannot give up and give you bread. I tell you this. He will not get up because of your friendship, but he will get up because of your persistence. I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. How many of you, if your child came and asked you for bread, would give him a snake? Or if they ask for an egg, would give them a scorpion? Of course not. Even you know how to give good gifts to your children. And so how much more will the Father in heaven give to his children the Holy Spirit when they ask? What do you think of that story? It's kind of strange. I'm going to read it again, and I want you to imagine yourself in the story. You can imagine yourself as whoever you want, but I want you to imagine yourself being there. I want you to think about how it makes you feel to be in the story. Are you ready? Great. It's midnight. It's pitch dark outside. There aren't even stars in the sky because it's all clouded over, and there's a knock at your door. Who could it be? It's a friend. He's been traveling the entire day and it's now midnight. He's exhausted and is just asking for some food. You go to the kitchen, you look in the cupboard. There's no food. So you think, what can you give him? What can you get for him? It's midnight. Where are you going to get food now? Then you think, my neighbor just might have. He's probably going to be a little bit upset with me, but I won't get anything if I don't ask. So you go to your neighbor's house. The lights are all off. There isn't a single sound coming from inside the house. But you knock. Lend me some bread. I just need three loaves of bread, you shout to your neighbor. But he answers from inside the house. I'm asleep. My kids are asleep. The lights are off. The door is locked. I cannot come to give you some bread. But you continue. And he doesn't get up because of your friendship. He gets up because of your persistence. And he gives you the bread. Jesus said, ask. And you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks will find. And to those who knock, the door will be opened. Who of you, if your child asks for a loaf of bread, will give them a snake? Or if he asks for an egg, would give him a scorpion. Now, even you know how to give good gifts to your children. 
How much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? What do you think of that story? How did it make you feel when you didn't have bread to give to the traveler? How did it make you feel when your neighbor said, no, I'm not going to help you? What do you think? Jesus tells us to ask, seek, and knock. What do you think he wants us to ask for? What do you think he wants us to look for? What do you think he wants us to knock and ask for? Today, what has stood out to me is that we need to be asking, seeking, and knocking. But what comes to mind is all the times that I've asked for things that I didn't get an answer that I wanted. I didn't get what I'd asked for. I didn't find what I had been looking for. Definitely not in the way I expected. But you know what I noticed in this passage is that God doesn't say, ask for a fancy car or ask for the best chocolate or seek all the good things in life. He says, how much more will the Father give of the Holy Spirit when we ask for it? He's saying, seek God, seek his Spirit, ask for his Spirit. Now, we may not always think that that's what we need. We may sometimes think that like that's the very last thing we need. But I promise you, that is exactly what you need. I'm going to pray for us as we close. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. Please comment below with your favorite takeaways, what you've learned, what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this time that we've had together today. Thank you that we can connect over the internet. Thank you that we can learn more about you. I pray, Lord, that we will always remember to ask, seek, and knock, and, and just continue in our persistence, in our pursuit of you and who you are. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we're so grateful for you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it from me. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.